Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about something that um, I always was curious before I transition and I'm pretty sure many of transgender folks might be curious as well. So how exactly is the dating life for a transgender girl? Uh, I don't know really much about transgender guys, but I kind of do, I don't know. Um, I didn't went through that. But I can tell So today we're going to talk about that from my perspective as uh, a trans girl But I'm kind of aware how it works for trans guys Anyway um, So when you first start transition It's kind of more difficult to date uh, a straight guy I would say um, you know there's this stigma with many guys that you're not a real woman and you're not deserving uh, a real relationship if that makes any sense some guys would uh, absolutely reject the idea that you're a girl and that you're a woman uh, because of your past, because of what you went through, through transition, many guys will not click and be like, "Oh, just a woman, just a typical girl. I'll, I'll date her." So many guys don't think that way. So many guys are scared of you, of people finding out that they're dating you. It could have been different, and I think this is not to be with just being transgender, I think it's being with just being different, you know, everyone who's different I think will go through being rejected uh, when it comes to dating because no one's perfect but so the first time that I went fully on a date was not too long ago so I was on a dating app and this guy wanted to go out with me even though I was trans because I have it in my bio, I already told him all of that. So, we went out and we went to a coffee shop. You know, you know how funny it is to date someone online because you never know who you're getting, basically. I and mean, you see the photos, you, whatever. We beat the chatters the day before, but you don't know really what they will look like. So, and I didn't care about that. I said, I said, you don't you know what? I think I'm a little shorter than you, but if you don't mind, we, we could make this work. And I was like, okay. So we went out, and it turns out, and it was such a nice day to be honest. Uh, we went to a coffee to Starbucks, and we started talking about random things and about his job and all the stuff like that. And for some reason he was for some reason he was really interested in my previous dating uh, life. But to be honest I didn't have quite a lot of dating life before. I did have a course on on college but it never worked out and because everyone knows trans I think it kind of you know always set him back from doing something and me from doing something because it was a lot of pressure and stuff like that. Anyway, I told him, yeah, whatever, I had a, I had a boyfriend before, I met you. <laughs> but anyway, um, when I got in the car, it was like, my thing too superficial, I just don't like him. I just don't, um, he's really sweet and all of that, but I'm just something, I just don't like him that much. I don't know what it is, and it, it's just, sometimes you feel like you don't click. And sometimes you feel like, um, you know, that person might not be for you, for whatever reason. And I just feel like, I don't know, he was just not my type. He was talking about all this stuff. I didn't get. I just, I just felt that he was not my type, and he would never understand me. It's at such a point that. It was just into different universe than I was and uh, after all you know we passed like a whole week and then you told me like uh, I'm really into you but I just 
uh, he told me he just wanted to have sex. So basically after that, I just told him, you know what, um, I don't like you and the sex, um, I'm pretty sure it would be great if I actually liked you and stuff like that. Um, anyway, fast forward, I'm um, dating someone, uh, I'm on the dating app again and I'm just talking to this guy and stuff like that and he tells me like, hey, why don't I just pick you up from your house and we go somewhere and we go to my house watch Netflix or watch movies and I was like, okay, why not? It was like 11 p.m. and I was, you know, at that time, I don't know, I guess I didn't know exactly how to do with dating and stuff and I said, yeah, we know, let's go to your house. And, you know, we went to his house and things started to heat up and all of that and, and I wasn't a virgin anymore, so I think, you know, um, to me it was more of a experimenting what it's like to, to date someone like that. And he, this guy knew that I was trans and he didn't care and stuff like that, but I guess dating apps are just for guys to want for people who just want to have sex I just don't actually want something serious I'm not saying everyone is like that but most people may not want something serious where well, I wasn't lucky enough but um, after that uh, he took me back to my house and uh, we, we're still talking but for a while but after a while I just I just realized that it was not going anywhere so so you know experimenting with dating apps is great I think there's a lot of people out there that do want to experiment with trans girls um, there's a lot of guys who also like to be penetrated who want you to do to be a top basically and if you feel comfortable with being a top there's a lot of guys out there who want that, but if you don't, you you could choose not to do that. I choose not to, but yeah, there's a lot of guys, and believe me, they're in girly at all. There, there's guys who want you to, you know, to top them, and are really, really attractive. Like you wouldn't even imagine. You would say like, oh my god, no, like, you're so masculine and stuff like that. How? It doesn't make sense, but it is like that. And the thing is that there is no gender, there is no um, who likes what and all of that stuff. You'll find almost anyone, anything really there. You'll find guys who like you for that, guys who don't like you for that. One time I was with, talking with a guy that he seemed really nice, really cute, and he was like, Hey, you know what? I want something serious because I don't want to, like, either use me or have sex with me and never talk to me again. And I was like, Why would I do that? But he was really serious, and he was like, I want to have children with you, and I wanted to have a family and stuff like that. I want to be part of your life and stuff. We just met at this point, I just thought, this is too quickly and he didn't know I was trans but I was like hey you know what before anything happens I just want to let you know I'm trans uh, I was born in a different body and then he told me that he didn't like that and then he ran away so I'm pretty sure that you can read people before you get to know them before you go out with someone before you give anyone the chance to date you, I'll say get to know them better, get to know what they like. If you do chat them before, tell them your trance, tell them everything. Because if you don't, and if you just get to the date, know nothing about him, he doesn't, he doesn't know your trance. Most likely, will things will turn out very awkward. So be sure to tell him. Okay. And be sure to know him before you go out with him. Don't forget to subscribe my, to my OnlyFans, to my uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter as Angelas and Angelas.book. And I'll see you in the next one. And I hope